Hello, this is just a quick tutorial to um, show you how to work the ribbed cuff of your granny go round jumper, your kids' granny go round jumper, and your granny go round cardigan. So, this is my original granny go round cardigan. You can see it's a bit bobbly now, it's a few years old. So, the ribbed cuff um, is worked in front post stitches. Um, that's UK trebles, US doubles, so front post trebles. And there are also decreases and they're also worked into the last round of granny stitches. So it can be a bit confusing sometimes because there's quite a lot going on. So I'm just going to show you how I do it using um, my dummy sleeve that I've got here. So I've worked my last round of granny stitch, last round of my sleeve. Um, we've got right side facing and we've joined to the chain three at the beginning of our round with a slip stitch. You're now going to chain three because that counts as your first back post treble. So you don't need to do anything with this first stitch here because your chain three counts as that stitch. You're going to work a front post treble two together. So it's like a regular treble two together, but you're working around the post of the stitches from the front. And those stitches are all worked into the same space because we're working into a granny stitch group. So we're working around the second and third stitch of the granny stitch group. So you're going to yarn over, go around the post of the stitch from the front, yarn over and pull through. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two. And then don't complete the remainder of the stitch. So don't complete the treble by yarning over and pulling through the last two. Leave the rest of the stitch unworked and go into the next stitch. So yarn over. Go round the post of the stitch from the front, yarn over and pull through. You've got four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two. So you've done the exact same thing as you did with this one. You've got three loops on your hook and you are now, to complete the stitch, going to yarn over and pull through all three. So that's your front post treble two together into a granny stitch. So the next stitch is a back post treble. So yarn over, go round the post of the stitch but from the back, Yarn over and pull through. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so yarn over. We're gonna do the front post treble two together now. Yarn over, go around the post of the stitch from the front. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through the first two. Yarn over, go around the post of the next stitch from the front. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two and then yarn over and pull through all three. The next one's a back post treble, so yarn over, go around the post of the stitch from the back, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and to work the front post treble two together again, yarn over, go around the post of the stitch, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, go around the post of the stitch from the front, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then finally yarn over and pull through all three. So you can see it's starting to decrease. I'm going to work the rest of the round and I'll show you what to do at the end. So I've reached the end of my round and I've done my last front post uh, treble two together. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch. The chain three is sort of being pulled over to the left a little bit by the decrease here. So slip stitching to the third chain will help to straighten it up. So insert your hook under that third chain and slip stitch to the end of your round. So now we're going to start round two, which is chain three to count as the first back post treble. And then you're going to work a front post treble, but you're now, um, you've decreased those two stitches into one. So you're going to work around that whole um, decrease there as if it's one stitch. Okay, so yarn over, go around the front, the post of the stitch from the front, Yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Then the next one is a back post treble, so yarn over, go around the post of the stitch from the back, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. The next one's a front post treble, so it's around both of those parts of the stitch there that have decreased into one. You can tell it's now one stitch because there's only one V on the top. So yarn over around the post of the stitch from the front, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Around the back post, so yarn over, around the back of the stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And just continue to alternate between back post and front post trebles 
all the way around for the remainder of your round. The next round's the same, but it's more straightforward because you've got no decreases to work around. And that will take you to the end of your ribbed cuff. So you can see that those decreases are starting to taper the cuff so it fits more snugly around your wrist.